Once you have downloaded the Unified Talent PowerSchool PL app, it's time to open the app and log in. As the facilitator, you have many different options within the app to facilitate attendance and information. Once you're ready to log into the app, you're going to tap in the bar that says district code. You're going to use the code Z3 capital A 8 lowercase c 9. Once you've tapped in your code, tap in next. This will prompt you to the rapid identity page with the CISD logo. Next, you will log in with your regular username and password for Coppola ISD. Great, now it's time to take a look at the app. You'll notice in the app you will see courses with either a blue icon or a purple icon. The blue icon means that you are the instructor or facilitator of the course. The purple icon means that you are actually attending the course and would be using the app for attendance purposes. So today you're a facilitator or an instructor, so I'm going to tap on a course where I'm an instructor. If I tap on the course, you'll see that I will see the name of the course, the meeting time of that, of that course, so this is a specific class time of my course, and then you'll see the roster of people that are registered for my course. I have a couple of options. I have the scan attendee code option. This will allow me to scan all of the participants' codes that come on their app. I would do this by tapping scan attendee code and then a box will pop up. I will then hover over their phone or their iPad and scan the QR code. This one says this does not appear to be a valid attendance code. That's because I am not registered um, as an attendee for the course. But if, if they were, then that person would then be checked off on the list. I can do this manually from my iPad or my phone, or again, I can use the scan attendee code. If I'm really, um, I've got a big group and I need to see who's, who's there and who isn't, I can use the hide attended button. All that will do is if I tap it, it will hide all of the people that I've already marked complete. So as I begin to check off people, this list will get smaller and smaller and smaller. So then I can very fit easily see who is here and who still hasn't attended the session. So that's easy. And if I want to tap and add it back, I tap show all and those people will then come back onto the list. So just a quick little simple way to um, see who has checked in and who hasn't um, as you're um, beginning your course. I'm going to tap the back button in the top left hand corner and it will take me back to my list of courses um, as the facilitator or really uh, me as a person. If I have a ton of courses that I'm facilitating, I can also use the magnifying glass to search for a specific course. And then that will take me to the place that or any course that has the, that kind of keyword searching. And that's how you use the app for attendance as a facilitator.